Hi ladies, it's Casey and welcome to another video. I have felt really like, I felt really incapable of filming vlogs lately because number one, the lighting, always trash, does not matter what I do, always under any circumstances, trash. And number two, like, I don't really have much of a life. I don't, I'm so sorry, this nail just came off. I have not had a chance to fix it yet. I'm sorry you have to look at this, but I don't have much of a life. I don't do much, like I just go to work. So I've been like, vlog about what? You know, like before I was in college, I, w I had free time, I was going out with my friends, I was pursuing my business, I still am, but like, more so, I, I just have more time, and now I don't, and I've been thinking about Vlogmas, and been like, okay, I knew I wasn't going to do Vlogmas, I always knew that, but I said I was going to at least do one video a week, and I haven't even like done that, and I'm just like, I don't know, I like making YouTube videos, why not make them? I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a short video compared to what I usually make. I'm usually like a 20 to 40 minute girly, but we're gonna, we're gonna aim for 10. And I'm just gonna attempt to show you something because I feel like there's not a lot of interest in my life, but I want to make a video, so I'm going to. Anyways, I'm at work on my lunch break. It's Friday though, so the weekend is coming up. I'm filming another video in tandem with this one, so you're not gonna get to see everything I do because it's gonna go in the other video, but you can always just watch the other video. Uh... Yeah, I'm on my lunch break, and, um, I felt, like, tired and kind of, like, out of myself at work today, but I did have a very good tea. It was, like, a French vanilla latte base with gr matcha green tea. I'm gonna have another one. Um, and it was really good, so I'm gonna have another one, like I literally just fucking said. <laughs> and then after work, well, well, we'll, we'll get into something. I don't know. I just wanted to film. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, also, look at my face. Um, I did my nails, as you can see. They're press-ons, and I'm, I'm gonna... We're gonna see how I feel about press-ons. This one coming off, I think I did something wrong. But we'll see how we feel and, like, how the others bear. My face is really, really oily. I don't, I don't know what to do about that. But I'm trying to, like, practice being cuter, but not, like... Not in the way that most people do it like youtubers and instagrammers and stuff like i don't want to perform my appearance and like always have to put so much work into how i look always all the time every day but i also don't want to never have the option to do a little extra so i did a little a little tiny bit of makeup today just a pinch i like how my eyebrows are gelled i did a brown liner on my lip and a new lip gloss that i got for free and didn't even buy it it just came with something else that i bought and, you know, work out it, whatever. So, I'm feeling cute, feeling, like, semi-decent, and I've decided to vlog, so welcome to the video. Let's go get that tea. Too much shopping, it's just, like, going out to eat and talking with my family. Too early. Yeah, and I was thinking, I'm not even sure if there's gonna be any decorations left because every time I go to the store, like I went to Michael's, they don't have anything anymore. The dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Hobby <laughs> <laughs> Love is here, my budget is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all. Oh, that's the one I was looking for. Oh, that's the Senior designer has run off to buy Christmas decorations for the office, so I'm going to start printing. I have to do... I do half... Really shaky, sorry. I do half graphic design, half print production. I'm the junior designer and production coordinator. So right now, I'm going to be printing a thousand business cards for an agent. So... Let's do that together. Just report one, just as a test to make sure it's gonna come out good. I also I made my tea. It's a little hot, but very good. I told myself I was gonna wash my hair this weekend, but if we're being real, if we're keeping it realistic, that's not happening. I do plan to do some preparation for a pop-up shop my business is doing. Doing a whole nother video on that, so you can check that out not this weekend and I am also going to be going skating which I'm doing a learning to skate in seven days video we are testing those business cards there they are they're printed and I am 
Cut them. So you can see if they come out right. They are looking good. Yeah, nothing's like cut off or anything. The colors are all there. So you're gonna print the red. We have standing desks and I have this little high chair, so. Um, I have to find something to do now while this print. I try and like, you know, go back and forth, part design, part print, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm so annoying. So, <laughs> okay, I got one design approved, so I need to prepare the print file for that. And then upload it so that probably I can print it. <sighs> I might have somebody else print it, but it's probably gonna be me, so. We'll just take the file export it into the correct file format hello in design i want to act like you don't know how to do this okay and then send it to print who is this is for it's what potter asked you call them i'm printing this yeah i'm printing this <laughs> i have to send my own stuff to print and then i have to print it isn't that crazy we have multiple printing facilities so sometimes i don't print stuff but most of the time I know this isn't very interesting because you can't see anything I'm doing. You're just seeing my head dart around, but I promise you something is going on. Okay, that's not due till Monday, so I'm probably not going to print it today because I have other stuff to do. I have to do these thousand business cards, and then I have to make 200 books. Not today, but like, I have to make them by next Friday, and I've only done 80. That's not good, so <laughs> I need to get going on those. So I'm gonna spend a good amount of time binding, and I'm gonna have to decorate my. Um, when the senior designer comes back, I'm gonna have to help her decorate. And I have to go to Harbor today to deliver stuff. I don't have time to do that. No, we're doing that Monday. I also set up websites. I'm gonna check right quick and make sure that there is nothing that I need to set up. Nope, all the websites are good. Yeah, I finished all my design projects for the day, so we're mostly just printing for the rest of the day, and I don't have any websites to do, so we're mostly just printing. I might get ahead, because I do have four, five projects for Monday. I usually have three, and I have stuff to print already on Monday. Some of it's a big quantity, so I might try to get ahead, but I might just let myself be stressed on Monday, so we'll see. Tomorrow I'm doing a lot of shopping. So tonight I wanted to stay in. So I'm doing, making, I'm gonna try doing a little sewing project to make a petticoat for, we're having a Christmas party. So I'm making a little dress for it. It's gonna be cute. And what else? Oh, well, setting up a pop-up shop. That's, that's lame. You don't wanna see that. I mean, you do, but it's not in this, it's not gonna be here. So I'll be making a petticoat tonight. Okay, I feel like I just like drank crack or something. Like what is going on with my energy levels? I, <laughs> if I'm gonna have any hope of making this video under 20 minutes, I can't film every single thought that comes to my mind, even though I have a lot of them right now. <laughs> so let me switch hands so that y'all can see the full nail set. So I'm going to work for a bit. I'm gonna work on these business cards. I gotta box them, get to be cutting. I might bind some of my books that I've been binding. I'm just gonna work for a bit. We'll check back in in more than two minutes from now. All right, so we put up those Christmas decorations that you saw. Jesus Christ, that did not help that <laughs> you saw at my job. And then I came to the harbor office and delivered those papers I showed you from earlier. Just finished that. So now I'm done. I get to go home. 
And when we get there, we're going to be making a petticoat, which did not think about these nails. But luckily, we did have one come off, which I think will help make it a little bit easier. But I would probably be, still be just a little struggling, but that's okay. I think it'll still be fun. And hopefully, I can come out with a cute Christmas outfit to show you guys. Hi, can I get a Chicago dog meal, but for the drink, an Oreo shake? Small. And can you do it with the beef, Frank? With the beef, all beef? Yes. Okay. Oh. An all beef Chicago meal with a medium fry and an Oreo shake. Yes. What else can I get for you? That's all. Now, I shouldn't have gotten the shake because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drink the whole shake. If I was in Georgia, I would be at Steak and Shake and I would get a kid size shake because I can drink that whole thing. I'm not going to drink this whole shake, but they only have one size and I want a shake. So fucking sue me, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> it's not my fault that they don't make tiny little shakes for tiny little people. My wiener schnitzel drinking my shake, watching Aaliyah's face. I'll get back at you guys when I start the petticoat. I have here an elastic band. I'm gonna sew it into a circle, attach the tool to it, and we'll have a petticoat. This vlog with the dress, but I just thought I'd splice this clip in. Uh, just to share some random thoughts. So I'm on my computer, I'm chilling. I was looking at a list of things to do like while you're single, because I'm in a, a phase of uh, intentional singleness right now. Like I'm not pursuing anything. Um, and a lot of it is stuff I'm already doing, which I think just kind of came with moving and having the chance to experience new things. But it's also like being alone. You're kind of forced to explore. Not, you're not forced to explore, but it's just kind of bound to happen. Like, and by alone, I don't mean single. I mean just like alone. Like I moved here. I didn't know anybody. None of my roommates wanted to talk to me. I was always by myself. So it was kind of like, okay, well... I want to try out this restaurant, so I'm just going to go do it, even though I'm alone, and whatever. Like, I, <laughs> I've never really cared about being alone. It doesn't bother me. But I think if I had moved here with a significant other, I would be kind of stuck in always wanting to do everything with them. Because why would I be alone when I can be with them? And then I wouldn't have tried certain stuff because, oh, they don't like it, so why would I do it? Like, I wouldn't be as into hiking right now if I was worried about doing what other people wanted to do. I wouldn't have gotten as into skating if I was worried about oh I don't have time I'm like with this other person and they want to do this so I gotta go do that like you know just being alone like literally with no one you're kind of forced to exploit yourself and see where that takes you and I am realizing that one I need to stop not I don't I, need, I don't thrive when being motivated by other people's motivations like one of the things on the list was like go to the gym and get your dream body and for a second i was thinking like okay i could go back to the gym i could do this or that and the third but it's like i don't want to do that right now i know i don't want to do that right now my fitness goals right now are skating and i want to hike a mountain i don't really give a fuck about the gym right now and i need to stop having goals just because other people have those goals like it's common for people to want to look a certain way so then I'm like, oh, maybe I should look a certain way. Or like another thing on the list was dye your hair. And I was like, oh, a second ago, I was thinking of dyeing the front of my hair brown. But the only reason I was thinking of doing that is because I saw my friend dye her hair. And I was like, well, she dyed her hair and it looks really good. So maybe I should dye my hair. Maybe I'll look really good. But it wasn't like what I wanted to do. It was what she wanted to do. And then I wanted to do it because she wanted to do it. I need to start doing things because I want to do them. That's when I get into skating. That's when I get into hiking. That's when I get into drawing. That's when I get into shit that makes me happy. Not things that I never really wanted to do in the first place, so I kind of don't do that well, and I fail at them, and they make me miserable. <laughs> so I need to really focus on developing and pursuing my own goals that are 100% mine. And next thing that I'm just thinking about right now is that I want to live in a bunch of different places. Like after moving to California, I'm like, mm, this is like really cute, and I think I could stay here for a while, like probably several years, but this isn't the end for me. Like. I want to do a year abroad where I live in a different country every month. I also want to live in like multiple different cities in America. Like I want to try living in a big city. Right now I live in a suburbial area in California. Even though I'm in LA County, I'm not like in LA. So I want to live in a big city. I want to live in New York. I ain't got no New York money, but <laughs> 
that's an idea in my head because I want to be able to go to Broadway whenever I want to. I want to live in Philadelphia. I think I want to live in Texas. Like, I sort of kind of am considering, like, Arizona, Colorado, like, a uh, California border state. Like, I just, I've got places to see. I have things to do. Like, this is not it for me. The idea of settling down really disgusts me. Like, marriage... If I find someone who makes me want to marry them, I'm, like, cool with that. But if I get married and then you're, like, okay, let's buy a house, have some kids, and live here forever, like, I got shit to do, baby. So, yeah, that's, those are just some thoughts. I, I often have thoughts and I want to kind of put some of my random thoughts in my videos. So, there you go. I think I'm going to edit this video now. So, back to the dress. <laughs> Amalia, Trayvon, Amari, Amara, something like that, I don't know, clothing lady. As a bit of a small business owner myself, I like to watch others and get inspiration, but here's where we're at with the tools. And it looks to me like a very cute wedding veil, and the fabric falls so slow, I feel like lace and tulle is the wedding veil material. Like, are we seeing the train? And this costs two dollars, so to anyone doing like a cheap at-home wedding, just go get you five yards of tool, lady. Bunch it up at the top, throw that shit on a headband. There you go. But anyways, I have a little bit more bunching to do, and then we'll attach it to my little elastic band circle, which you probably can't even see, but it's over there. This is where we're at. I'm gonna cut the bottom. It doesn't look like what I thought it would look like, but it's, you know... I'm, you know, so I'm gonna cut the bottom and add some Christmas fluff and I'll be back with that update. This is it without. This is it with. Like, it's okay. It just looks awkward and uneven. Like, do you see this? I don't know. So, yeah. We made a dress, really all I did was put this on, which I tied in the back. Um, I'll figure out a better way to attach it the night of, and I'll put the other half on my boots, and I'll just be Christmas-y, like a little bit. So, not quite what I wanted, but plenty good enough for a little work party, it's whatever. Um, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully I can make more, like, in common and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, toodaloo.